for each track in GarageBand, you have a track header. So let me show you some of the options you have with the track header. So if you right click on your header, so the header is just the left part of the track, we right click, and you can see you can add a new track, you can also rename one or delete one, but down at the bottom we have different components we can add or really show or hide. So let's go ahead and show all of these. The first button will mute the track we, we're on right now. The second button, the headphones, will mute every track except the one we have right now. The new button we added is a lock and that just locks this track so you don't accidentally change it. The next button is the record button and it just allows you to record on that track. The button after that is the input monitoring. What that means is that when you have a mic hooked up or a guitar or anything like that, it'll let you hear your input as you play your project so you can hear it as it's happening. Uh, which in some cases is a good idea, in some cases it's not. It just kind of depends on what you're making. The other option for your track headers that doesn't actually show unless you have more than one track is the groove track and it's the bottom one here. So if you show it, and you can only do it for one track, what it does is it synchronizes the timing of your other tracks based on the track that you made, the groove track. Um, so like I said, it's something new in this version of the program, um, but you're welcome to give it a try if you'd like to.